Okay, Junior. Uh, if the water heater starts acting up, you got to turn that yellow valve to shut it off. So if you hear a hissing noise in that, go in there and shut that hey, yellow Junior. valve off. Huh. And, uh, oh, yeah. See that guy out there? Yeah, that's Timber, owner of Timber Tree Service. Yeah, sure is. Guess he uh, used to own a tree cutting business in Oregon. That is, until he murdered half the town with a Poulon wild thing that he fled. Really? How come he's not in jail? Not enough evidence. They tried to get him, but got off on technicality. Wow, never heard that story. It's a pretty well-kept secret in the town. Nobody really knows about it. You got all that, Junior? Sure did, Pa. I'll be sure to do all that you said. Okay, great. Now feed it, Slippers. It's time for our Christmas vacation. And that's a vacation we need to get away from you. Oh, jeez, Terrell. All right, I'm going. Well, uh, you guys have a good uh, Christmas vacation then, and uh, don't do anything that I wouldn't do, which is a lot of stuff, so I'll see you when you get back. All right, Slippers. See ya. All right, take care. Oh, hey, what's up? Uh, you're going to be on vacation for the next week, so you're either going to have to come back in a week or go over to Gordy's over there. But uh, this place is shut down. Oh, well, uh, thanks for the information, eh, guy? Oh, I'll be back, all right. Later tonight. <laughs> well, he's still gonna be closed, dude, so oh. I don't know what good that's gonna do. Oh, yeah, good point. Forgot you were still standing there. I got the whole shop all to myself! Wasting your strength, kid. He's not here. He's on vacation. Oh, that sucks. Is there uh, maybe something I can help you with? I was going to see if you can use any extra help this time of the season. I could sure use the extra money. Oh, looking to make a quick buck, I see. Well, you're talking to the guy that invented it. Why don't you come with me? All right. Yeah, I was uh, visited by three spirits last night, so kind of in the holiday mood. <laughs> Who's that? What? What the heck? Thieves! Oh, I'll put a stop to them. <laughs> Get out of here, you vagrants! Uh, uh, I hate thieves. Whoa. Ow! What the heck? I thought you said nobody was here. Uh, the guy said they was on vacation. Come on, let's get out of here. Uh, ow. Ow. That's it, run, you idiots. Uh, oh, man. That oh. hurt, Ronnie. Sure did. We're going to get that little punk. Yeah. He ain't seen the last of us. So uh, we'll be back later on tonight. All right, let's go. Pterodactyl here. Today's how-to video is going to be on this here International 184 Low Boy. And the problem with this is the guy brought it in because the shifter mechanism is all cattywampus or something broke. So, first thing you're going to want to do is take the fenders off. So if you've never taken the fenders off, they come off pretty easy. The four bolts 
that go underneath the seat. You take them off, and then there's two bolts down here on the side, and then there's two bolts down on the inside, right here. There's a bolt here and a bolt here, and then these are the two where your feet go, and there's the four, and then this disconnect the tail light if it's got one, and this whole thing will lift off. It's that simple. And then disconnect this hose, and then take all the bolts off that hold this on. Then you can get it out. Got to kind of snake it out. See? And what it is, there's a part inside here that's broken, and I got to weld it back together. So we're going to take it on the bench, take this thing apart. So today, Carl Childers is going to be assisting me on this here repair, because he's good with these low boys. So this thing comes off right here. So you can get a screwdriver, and you got to kind of work this back and forth off. Come on. See? Then you can take that off. Now, it only fits back on there one way. That goes in there, so you can't mess that up on how that goes. Now, see what I was saying down here? This is broken. That's supposed to be welded together. So now I'm going to take it over to the vise so I can push this spring down and get this little pin out. So I got my vise and I'm just going to push so I can expose that pin and then take a little punch and then you can push that pin right out but don't lose it because it's not pressed in there. So you don't want to lose it. Like I just did. It fell on the floor. I'll find it. Here it is. Just a little pin. And now the spring is released. Now we'll take it apart. What's that, Carl? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. I remember. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Carl, we got to get back to the fix. All right. So we got the pin out. So. Yours should have a little plastic bushing like this on the top. Slide that off. Then the spring. Then there's another plastic bushing. And the O-ring. And then this. Now you can slide this out. And this little cup thing. See, that's on that little pin there. That's what's broke. So go ahead and clean it up because it's like got a zinc coating on it and you're going to want to clean some of that zinc off of there so you can weld it back together and then kind of clean up your weld too. And then find out you know what position it went in went like that and then weld it back together. So I'm going to take it over on my weld table and weld her back together. Okay, I got it all in position, clamped in my vise. Now I'm going to zit 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 weld it back together. Okay, now I just got done well, hold on a second. I just thought of something. I got a question I want to ask Carl. Hey, Carl, whatever happened to that Doyle Hargrave? What? You killed him? Gee. All right. I just got done welding this, and I welded it all back up, as you could see. See down in there? Ah! Ah! i myself! Now I'm not that stupid. I let it cool off, see? 
It's cool. All right, we got it all welded back together. Now let's stick it back together. I hope it works. You know what? I don't work on these. This is the first one I've worked on. But you know, a real mechanic doesn't have to have a book or a manual on how to fix stuff. You just take it apart and fix it. It's just nuts and bolts. That's what a real mechanic does. I wish I was a real mechanic. Someday I'll get there. Slide this back on. Put the O-ring back on. Hope I can remember the, how this went back together. <laughs> that sleeve, see how it's a little different on one end? That's where the spring goes. And this little cup recessed area goes over that O-ring. Then our spring. Then the other plastic bushing. And it fits down inside the spring. Now I got to take it over on the vise and get the spring down, mash, mash the spring down so I can slip that pin back in there. So let's go over to the vise. All right, I got the pin. Now I'm going to try whoop, to get this pass there. Let me close this up a little more. Well, maybe too much. There we go. There we go. See? Got her locked back in. Now we can go put it back on that international. Carl, you didn't kill nobody while I was away, did you? Oh, good. All right, I almost forgot. I got to put this back on. Like I said, it only goes in one way, like this. And then just tap it in with a hammer. Till this little tab here is even with that. Like I said, I don't work on many of these, this is the only one. So don't be hitting me up in the comments and everything and, hey, I had trouble with my old boys doing this or doing that. I don't know what it's doing. I mean, I'm sure I could fix it, but just, just nuts and bolts. Now we gotta make sure we get this right in there. Because these are your shifting rods. So let's get this back in there. I gotta get that tube down in there. There we go. Now I'm gonna take a peek in there. Make sure that that's gonna get right in between there. Yep. That's all you gotta do. Just peek in there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put all the bolts back in and hook this rubber hose back up and then we're gonna try it. All right, I got it all bolted back together. And look, works like a dream. He couldn't get it to do that before the customer. It was flopping around. So that was a pretty easy fix. That wasn't that bad. He thought he had a major transmission problem. But you know, we're not gonna tell him that because I'm gonna charge him like $3,000 to fix this. Here, 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 that's what mechanics do, right? Rip people off. Not this mechanic. I'm only gonna charge him a reasonable price. So, from Carl Childers and me, there's your dinner. Mm-hmm, french fried potatoes. You know, something tells me those guys are gonna be back. And I don't wanna be caught with my pants down.
I think I'm ready. Now it's time to play the waiting game. Looks like it's quiet on the home front. Oh yeah, time to make a move. I'll get the door running. All right, sounds good. Oh, 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 oh. It electrocuted me. He's got the door all wired up. All right, out of the way. I'll get us in. Open sesame. Donnie, keep your voice down. All right, let's get revenge on this little twerk. Swing it right. We want to clean out that register first. All right. Donnie, are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. Ooh. Ooh. Think you might uh, need to clean your face off. Get out of the way, Donnie. What? There's no money in here? Oh, this kid's dead. I'm up here, you idiots! Come and get me! Come on, Ronnie, let's get him. Yeah, let's get that little twerp. Where's this little punk at? I'm up here, you big jerks! And I'm real scared! Donnie, go up there and get all him. Alright, alright. <laughs> Donnie, what happened? He oiled the steps and I slipped and fell. Oh, that Junior, he's like a rat turd. He's sharp at both ends. Well, I'm gonna get him for you, Donnie. Donnie, you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs>